Hello and assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to the second part of installing Genie ACS server. Uh, in the previous video, we installed Genie ACS server and did some settings according to the Microtech ecosystem. You can go ahead and check uh, the previous video. I will include it uh, in, the, in the description below. In this video, we will be looking at uh, configuring the ACS server for automatic remote provisioning. Uh, in this example, we will be using Microtech CAP Lite. We will be doing everything from, from scratch. We have a CAP Lite uh, default setup, like it, it is on default settings, but without any def I have reset the, the access point without any default settings. So it is a blank uh, access point. Uh, and we will be also going to override the default configuration of this um access point that will allow us to enable this device to connect to the ACS server automatically whenever it has been reset or it loses the the current configuration and in the next part we will um define presets in the genie ACS server to look for some tags or provisioning code and then act accordingly by uploading uh alter files which um enables the the ROS to update the configuration partial configuration and uh, help us to get all the devices to the the latest configuration that we supplied um, also known as zero touch configuration by some uh, huge uh, ISPs or in, in the market so this is our ACS server First of all, we are going to configure the um, the access point. Here is the access point. We will connect using the MAC address. Okay, it is connected. So, uh, in in my example, in my example, I have uh, the the configuration server in my local area network, but I am going to install this. Uh, access point somewhere else so i am not going to expose my ac server to the to the the world wide web but instead i am going to create a vpn tunnel to my private network and then we will connect the the access point with our ac server and then we will let the ac server do its job so let's begin this is the most important uh, step of all if you want the default configuration to be overwritten uh, in order to allow your access point to connect to the ACS server whenever it is reset so if the ACS server or is on the local area network or the device you are going to set up will stay in your local area network then you don't need to uh, do this step or you don't need to um, create a tunnel uh, a VPN client you don't need to do that you, you can just skip that part and do the rest of the configuration so first of all we need to make sure that we have a valid IP address uh, which we don't so remember this is the initial configuration this is the basic very basic configuration you will do it accordingly where the device will be placed if you are placing this device somewhere else, if it will be accessed through, like it will access the internet uh, through triple POE, then you will create a triple POE here because you don't want to lose uh, the device after it is reset. If it is reset and there is no uh, default configuration to connect to the internet via triple POE or, or via Wi-Fi, via any protocol or any method, you will lose the access to the device once it is reset so in this in this case um, of my installation i am going to connect this device uh, to my ACS server via a vpn and then we will just um, do the rest of the settings so anyways uh, let us proceed now we we will uh, create a, a dhcp client plus Ethernet one, okay. Apply. It is searching. IP address assigned. Default route is assigned. 
so let me ping my vpn server <coughs> vpn sorry vpn server.com okay i am able to ping uh vpn server.com will be your vpn server address so it this thing is working now we will go to triple p we are going to create a client we will be using a temp link it will be a temporary link it will be deleted um on the remote configuration file whenever it is uh, uploaded to the to the access point connect to vpn server dot com the username will be temp link same password temp link and we will check if it can okay it is connected and it has the ip address of the same network as the, okay so we will check if we are able to connect to the yes we are able to connect to the ACS server this is the IP address of the ACS server and if you don't know you can it is oh. so first part is actually we have completed half of the configuration actually first of all getting the IP address setting the default route third connect to the to the, our private network and uh, you, you can also skip if you have um, if you have your tr69 uh, automatic configuration server facing the internet if you have a cloud instance for example you can just skip the step and you can configure the ACS I mean the tr69 uh, to connect to the the live IP address or to the host name provided by your cloud okay so as you can see there is no tr69 we are going to upload the okay so we have it here we will open file tr069 just drag and drop let it upload okay once it is there you just have to reboot the device yes reboot so it will reboot and install the the TR69 client. Hmm. These are some of my routers. Only 2.1 is present in this location. The other three are not present in this location. They are connected uh, through a very beautiful, very useful protocol, e EOIP. I have a video on that. You can check uh, my first video, V1. I will include the, the link in the description, but it is in in the Urdu language. I will be soon translating it to English language and I will of course include the link as well. So the access point is back online. We need to yes. It is yeah, there. So here we will just um, enable the protocol. Write the IP address of the uh, 7547 the timeout, the inform interval, you can set it to 10 seconds. Provisioning code. Yes, this is the most important thing. Provisioning code. You can name this access point. I will be naming it as AP-UP. UP means unprovisioned. So it will be unprovisioned. This is how the ACS server will recognize that this is unprovisioned or provisioned. Uh, by default, we want it to be shown as unprovisioned. Once it is provisioned, we will make sure that we remove this UP tag or otherwise on every reboot, the ACA server will push the configuration to it. So we don't want that to happen every time. Actually we can, but we don't want. So apply running for best 
um troubleshooting so best way to troubleshoot this protocol we can enable debug uh, if there is some timeout or something we can check why it is not working via this logging option we have here so running we have the server the VPN server connected and now yes inform okay everything is working good here so we don't need anything else to be there yeah one more thing system or uh, users you can add another user if you want you can you know change the group whatever whatever the basic settings you want to do you can do it right now and if you want to change the password you can do it here but in the export it will not include the password so you will have to write another line to to do that anyways this is done we will go back to the acs server and we will see if it pops there yeah here it is it is a p u p show we will see if we can try to yep, get all the information we have gotten all the information here it is cap light this is the serial number and everything is here so um the ip address mac address uptime everything we need is pulled right from the from the structure we provided in the last video of course okay so now what we will do is um, we will export this configuration how can we do that we will just open the terminal write export and then enter this will export all the configuration we did in a text format so you will select the, the script you can select from here actually copy open your favorite uh, text editor uh, and then you can you, you you can just copy this from um, from the Microtech uh, forum if you don't want if you don't or if you can't find I will include the link in the description to my github from there you will find it you will find the the scripts and the codes we are working on now so we will just paste the the configuration it's done mm -hmm. now sometimes sometimes i don't know if this is a bug or um, i don't know what this is sometimes the last line of the the script does not execute so i f to make sure that it executes i just copy it and then you know paste it in multiple times in, in the script so it will make sure that it is executed and also i like um, just make sure it executes the last line anyways so this is done this is done now we will save this file save it AP. Mm -hmm. You have to rename it. Rename as uh, as the AP dev config dot anything 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 except dot alter. You can name it dot txt dot html dot whatever i like to rename it to um, rsc just define your name save it and go to the acs server okay now just um, open it up add firmware just a shortcut to do this okay so microtech factory configuration file choose file you will select uh, on file type x microtech factory configuration file if you cannot find this thing here that means you did not follow the steps accordingly 
in my first or previous video uh, you can just um, go through my video again uh, add it to the configuration file to include this so ap configuration upload okay so now we will just upload the default configuration to the router uh, we can do this by selecting the the router we are looking for yes this is it cap light with the provisioning code apup which we have uh, said before okay now we have to go to push file and uh, select the x microtech configuration factory configuration file which we named it remember it can be named anything the extension uh, can be anything then alter okay so we select that and push file or we will just do this okay push file and we'll see what happens here okay transfer complete download event response everything is okay and now we will try to reset the router and we will check what will happen so factory reset uh reset configuration yes reboot okay we'll wait for it to be back again see what settings it require it uh, yes the configuration is there so after the complete reset we can see everything is uh, where we need it to be so we can check if the wireless interface it is disabled yes um, now the next step now the next step is to configure this access point uh, however we want now we can uh, do whatever configuration we need it to be like pushed remotely uh, we have to do it now we will not remove uh, the dialer because after configure after connecting the uh, not connecting after configuring this access point remotely we want this dialer to be removed automatically so um, we will include uh, a command to remove this dialer in in the script which we will write so we will just um, create uh, a configuration file for our config file I don't know what I'm saying right now anyway so we will enable this AP bridge microtech to um, whatever name we want in my scenario I want it to be opened because I'm deploying it for a hotspot uh, scenario so there will be nothing in the security profile everything will be default we can do this uh, BGN or GN only uh, 2040 AP bridge everything is set to default okay dynamic perfect okay so we can just proxy up if we want doesn't matter now if we do run a Wi-Fi commander we will see we should see an SSID named VNS come on scan buddy sometimes you saw oh here we are okay it is open and now what we want to do is um, we might need to add some users if we want we might need to edit this no this is fine we might need to do some other configuration like IP address, static IP address, and this and that. You can do it right now. We'll do that in a bit. But uh, in the meantime, we will set. Oh, sorry. No password. Old, there is no password. New, I will set to my password what I need. We'll set to admin. Admin. Okay. I know this is not secure, but this is only in. An example 
okay so next we will create a bridge land what it will do it will merge or it will it will have ethernet one and your w land one as well on the same router and it will automatically be yes now now this interface will not get an ip address because before it, it was a master interface now it is a slave interface that means uh, it is a member of uh, some kind of a bridge so we need that bridge to assign an ip address not the interface okay so renew okay perfect so it's there we need to change the identity DNS IP or anything okay and after doing all the settings we might also need to set dns of course we don't need it's already there we don't need to do that and we need uh, okay nothing so the next step is uh, really the important step we will edit the the provisioning tag and we will remove the up up means unprovisioned so as to me it means unprovisioned up means up also but for me it's unprovisioned so we'll apply okay and now we will do we will check if there is something remaining which we should do no sometimes you want smtp if you want you can enable it from here only uh trap two and if you want anything else just do it right now dhcp client server relay nothing system we don't want to do anything wireless interface caps if you want to enable caps mode caps man mode you can do it uh sorry you can do it from here cap enable it and select the interface it will be configured as a, a cap client okay so now after doing all the configuration we will export this configuration how we can do that we will of course the password has changed so we will just type export and wait for it to finish this is all the configuration which we have done on the on the access point so we will create another file dump it okay now i recommend you to put everything in the curly braces like the function if you don't do no problem it will work but sometimes it doesn't so it is recommended that you do add curly braces wherever necessary now we will run the command to to delete i have the command right here i'm too lazy sometimes to write the whole you know rs command okay now to user well, what was the command to change the password user i forgot let us check for my old here oops sorry sometimes i am clumsy as well okay this is the the last line which you want to execute now why i have uh, another line this is just a bogus line it will not do anything it is just sometimes that i found out i don't know if it is a bug or not or it's my configuration mistake sometimes the last line of the the file is not executed 
it 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 is something like uh, like this like if you just you just paste it nothing if not entered it so you have to find a method to press enter in the script so this is how i managed to execute the script well okay so i will save the script in desktop ap config dot a l t e r a l t e r outer this is it i will change the password to admin one two three so we will see if the changes are being reflected or not okay now we will it's okay now we will just connect the access point the router so it should be connected yes it is here here okay so now what is the next step we will we want to push the file but it's not here two methods you can click on add firmware shortcut otherwise you can go to files add files vendor configuration Remember, this is a vendor configuration file. Select the, the type, Microtech, product class. No, you don't. You don't know the product class. This is the product class, CAP Lite. You can just copy it or as a short, as shortcut as I told you before, add firmware. Everything comes pre-filled. Just select the right file type, apconfig.alter upload now we can check if the file is working or not by doing a reset okay and by doing a reset and then pushing the file pushing the the configuration manually so we will get to know if the script is working or not. Okay, we are logging in and see everything is back to default. Setting is there. Okay. Now we will just see if the router responds. Refresh. Device refreshed. Push file. We'll open log first to see what is happening. Conflict, uh, sorry, not conflict, config.alter and we will push. So, it's okay, it's da, 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 the identity has changed. Okay, if you go to terminal. Yes, I think I have to reconnect because it should be on a bridge now. Okay, so we are back now. Uh, we have a static. Uh, the uh, route entry as well uh, what we will do is we will remove the static entry in the first place like mm -hmm. we will go to ip go to route remove it will be the second one of course okay so we will see what it is printing the uh, the the second one means the the second one it's gone so of course the, this will be every time it will be like this so we will include this in our configuration as well and how will we do it we want to do it in the end so we don't get anything disturbed oh see if you like seriously just copy the command just paste it 
IP route remove one and then you interface PP TP client friend remove template and it should go it's, it's goner so we don't want to do it manually we will do it through the script and you have copied the line save we will go to files we'll destroy we will create a new file vendor class cap light ou this is vendor configuration config dot alter upload so now we will check the script by running the ultra file which we just applied so what it will i will just change some settings as well so we'll see how quickly it can um it can push the configuration where is the identity system identity here i mean kind of whatever this is no. we'll see how quickly it will it will do the, the changes okay anyway so we'll see ppp should go the identity should change commit task committed okay and click save see stupid don't do stupid mi mistakes like me check everything beforehand don't copy paste like me use your mind there very sorry guys wasted like 20 minutes of your time anyways show well, where's the interface Here. we don't need that much we will just shrink this here and click templink oh see something just disappeared Thing disappeared. It was just my mind playing up with me. Okay, it's gone. It is gone, and it is working fine. It last. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah means thank God in Arabic. I'm not Arabic, but Asian and Muslim. Okay, so oh, thank God. Now the next step is to uh, write a provisioning code and then set a preset and then that's it provisioning code is just a code like um, like what will happen why will happen uh, what will happen why will happen will be uh, we will be setting it in preset we will be uh, telling the the ACS to check on event and check many other parameters and if it like um, if it uh, fits in the, the the requirements of this preset then execute a provisioning script what it will what this will what preset will execute is provisioning script and the script will execute uh, the the commands or the, the things we write here so this script will be for vns ap i will name it by uh i will name it to vns ap and it will declare the download file type that this is the the file we are working on is um vendor configuration file and of course it will be this one okay and it will just upload 
date now value date now means it will upload now okay this is the the declaration of the variable date now so we'll just save it we'll make sure that the file name is accurate copy provisioning code vns ap edit we will just uh paste you will find this provisioning script in my github page i will just include the the link in the description you can guys follow up from there go to preset now we will create a new preset name for it is vns ap this is for vns ap weight will be zero when you want it to happen you want uh, to check this preset whenever the router is like it reboots okay whenever it is reset it will of course reboot so you can add this now precondition what it will check the the condition if the following are true or false or whatever the 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 these thing will uh like if we want the the tag to be unprovisioned provision or we need to we need the provisioning code should be uh, ap dash up if one of these will be uh, remove the tag we don't need the tag we will just use the provisioning code if the provisioning code is ap up then provision what it was vns ap the the provisioning script name okay save it go and confirm vns ap was the script's name edit vns ap provisioning code if it is ap up then it will run the script and this script will in turn upload this configuration file okay so uh we'll do a reset we'll do just to refresh it it will change the task bolted out no problems delete just wait the device to show up again it is here uh just refresh okay all right so we have the name and everything correct now what we will do is we will um, reset and we will check what happens Five, four, three, two, one. Nah, not that fast. Logged in. Now it will try to, yes, see? Now it is automatic automatically configured. Who did that? Our ACS Genie ACS server. It didn't remove the the default route as we wanted, but anyways, we have to just tweak the the script and everything is how we needed it we just have a look it is set on ens we'll try to connect to ens if it works connecting connecting connected oh yes we have changed the password to it we want to do so it's there connected We'll do a quick speed test. 
Uh, it's a low cost um, AP. I don't think it will go more than 30 40 Mbps. Oh, 46, 48, 50, 54, 55, 56, 57. Cool. 71, 72 Mbps. It's cool. Upload, I should get 50 MB. I'm getting 49. Yes, 50 MB is the upload I have right now in this location. So you can also reset the device from here in case if you are using this scenario or using this automatic configuration server for your RISP or for your ISP or on your cable network or even your in, in your home or office and there is some problem with the access point or the device and you want to physically uh, reset the device you forgot the password you cannot log into the device or it, uh, you cannot reach it physically but it is still connected to your uh, ACS server you can just factory reset also from here so we will just give it a try and see what happens I will get disconnected yes I am disconnected and I will be connected to my Connecting, it's gone. Should connect to my other network. So, so whenever it is reset, it will automatically. Uh, be supplied with the, the configuration which we set thank you for watching um, do subscribe uh, like uh, comment for any new uh, topics you want to see and if there are any um, suggestions for me to follow just put them in the, the comment like the video and subscribe if you like my effort and uh, my videos thank you very much god bless happy networking